What up everyone? We're gonna be doing a website breakdown. So this is intelligentchange.com. It's my friend Alex Icon, and he's popular on YouTube. Go check him out. If you guys like these website breakdowns, leave a comment with your URL and let me know if you guys want me to do more of these. One of the first things I love to do when I get to a website is that check out the website and first off, in five seconds or less, do you guys understand what the hell they're doing? So tools to positively change your life. Oh God, it sounds like a Wheaties or Fruit of the Loom commercial or something like that. So it's a little broad, but number one, do you understand what they're doing? Kind of. Number two, do they have a clear call to action? And I would actually say they do a good job of it with the shop now button. One thing I learned at Facebook and I want you guys to think about is that you wanna be considerate about having your text links look the same as your button link. So this is a link and it's gray, and this is a link, this is the same color, but it's not a link. Just be aware of that. So I would probably change these colors to be a little different, and I would make this button actually have a little different CTA. What you do a lot of websites, it's like shop now. So let's go and click shop now, we'll open a new tab, and then here is where they actually show their most popular product. On a lot of sites, like go shop now, go do this. And then you're going here to actually go find, oh, five minute journal. Oh, Tim Ferriss uses this. So one of the major recommendations I have for them is test this page as your homepage. Instead of making me try to figure out what your title is and then click a button, then I have to wait for this to load, just take me right into this. So I think that will actually really help you guys out uh, and it'll be a really interesting test. This is prime real estate. So think of your, your website as valuable real estate. Everything above the fold is the most expensive, most valuable. Be very intentional and considerate with it. Doesn't mean you guys can't go crazy and do websites without all text or all images. I'm not saying anything against that because you have to figure out your own aesthetic. But be aware, this is prime real estate and it's pretty much a pointless stock image and some cheesy line. I don't even look at it. This is the part that mattered to me. This was interesting to me. Let's get right into that. So as we talked about prime real estate, let's look up here, support. Why is support? It's fine. They can have an email up there. They can have a phone number up there. What I would recommend for them to do is to say, here's success stories. Like here's our story. That's fine. Here's a blog. All this stuff is about them. Why don't they show off their customers? So I would probably change one of these links to actually more of success stories so that people can see, oh shit, if I buy these journals, here's the things that are going to happen. Or people like Tim Ferriss or Noah Kagan or whoever else is using these journals, here are the results that they're getting. So I would try testing that. A lot of links that are not important, you can always put them on the footer that's at the bottom of the page. Don't put them at the prime real estate at the top. I would probably also, the blog here is good, but it wasn't as valuable. What I would do is use a click trigger. And what that means, you actually can see that they have Sumo installed. A click trigger is within our Sumo tool. You click it and it'll do a pop-up, boom, that says, hey, give me your email address. And I would actually recommend them to collect more emails a little bit more aggressively. So think about this, on a great e-commerce site, on a great one, you're getting somewhere around 2% to buy. Okay, so that's, that's good. That means 98% of people are not ready to buy. So what you need to do is actually collect their email addresses using sumo.com's list builder or whatever other tool you like. I recommend Sumo because I work there and it works great. Uh, but a click trigger makes it just a link that'll pop up, say, get our newsletter, get our next product. It doesn't have to be a discount, but generally on e-commerce stores, that works really, really, really well. Number five, change a few colors, guys. So like this is black and it's a link. This is gray, but it's not a link. This is gray and it is a link. I already talked about that earlier. Change your colors up a little bit. They have a lot of different things here. I didn't really understand what a five minute journal is versus what a productivity planner is. And what I think a lot of you guys may not realize or think about is that when someone comes to your website, they don't know you at all. It's like a homeless person on the street. I don't know them. But if you were on the street and you're like, yo, you know, I know you, da, 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 I'd probably be nicer to you and talk to you. But imagine that your website visitors don't know nada, don't know anything, guys. So you kind of have to be a little bit more clear. What is a commitment pack? So this is good. They do collect emails, but realize guys that 50% or more people don't make it to the bottom of your website and over 50% of your traffic is on mobile. So be aware that by the time they get to the bottom, there's not a lot to do. And two, always check your website boop, on mobile. So their website is mobile compatible. So they have all these stuff at the bottom. I think they're wasting a lot of their traffic here. I thought it was cool they had like a signature, but this should, they should just put both their, their names, the two founders names. And let's talk. It's like these guys are trying to create a personal brand, but right here, they're putting like, hello at intelligent sales. Like if you actually ever want to send money to appsumo.com or sumo.com, it's yay at appsumo.com. Or I think my, it's like, give me money. Just something a little bit more fun than just their generic stuff. And I would put regular signatures here. One other key thing that, especially if you're e-commerce site, if you're doing a sale, if it's a big day, I would highly recommend putting on live chat. So in sumo.com, we do have live chat. I'm saying you can use that. So you guys can actually go do that in messages chat. If you're using sumo.com, it's just built in right away for you guys to go use it. But let's go back to uh, their homepage. I think there's a lot of social proof that's missing. So simple tools, big results. That sounds good. Like what if they actually said here, over 10,000 people are using this and getting results? I'd be like, okay, that's actually a little bit more interesting. So let's actually change that. And you guys tell me what you think about it.
Wow, that actually sounds, I don't know about you, and like maybe you can make this little bold background color. I think that seems a lot stronger or add customer reviews because they kind of just showed Tim and a few other people that are like, obviously like these are more known people, but what about just like a regular person? And I think they have some of that stuff in their blog, uh, but it's not super like, you know, it's like normally these are kind of like the clickbaity articles, but what about like Joe Schmo or Susan Sarandon, whatever it is, and just like, hey, here's how I'm using it and my life is so much better. Five other things I definitely think they should be doing. One, test to refer a friend program. Uh, I think there's a lot of different tools out there that can do this. Uh, I know Get Ambassador does this. So it's confusing a little bit to have the book and then the person that both link to the same thing. I don't really quite get that. That's one of the things that they have on here, a little bit weird. Uh, I think one thing that just didn't really come across in the site is like, why is this like, holy shit, life changing? Intelligent change, commitment pack. It's just like, it's not like, fuck, your life is gonna be transformed once you get this and you are missing out on that. They do have a thing where uh, there is an upsell, so there's there's basically a checklist for websites. I'm not gonna go in this video, but they do have an upsell. So as you buy a planner right here, it says, hey, do you wanna add an extra planner for a certain amount of dollars? So I think what they could do is test a smart bar or some bar up top, which is like, hey, if you spend $15, you get two planners. So they could definitely do a little bit more like creativity and testing around like, hey, get our three pack. If you buy our three pack, it's free shipping today. So I think there's something there. Uh, their email pop-up, they didn't have one. If you guys have noticed, if we've been browsing their website, they don't have one on. I'd highly recommend that you either put it with a timer or with exit intent. So let me just summarize a lot of the different changes we're making. Test a better homepage, simplify the, the website, remove stuff that's not valuable real estate, clarify the links, update the footer to be more human, make it much more emotional, make it much more like, holy shit, 10,000 people are doing this, you're gonna be the next one. Show more success series instead of like our story and blog and support, like get me into the results stuff. Uh, I think you need a little bit more email collection because a lot of people aren't gonna be ready, like seven days to, to create first habit. Like that could actually be a great email opt-in uh, for a lot of people, you can test that with the scroll box. Go look at a competitor just to see how they're doing. And so one of their competitors uh, is bestself.co. Obviously, you know, this is competition, but it's healthy competition. So I would go say, all right, well, what have they done differently? And then go look at people that are best in practice in other industries. So go look in like women's stuff, go look in fashion stuff and see what you can learn from maybe Bonobos. Maybe there's something on Bonobos' website, then that I can comply in my own business. And I promise if you guys do that on yours, uh, you'll have good results. We did that with sumo.com and some of our software we actually did from like a women's daily deal website. And I was like, oh, there's some stuff that we can actually do for ourselves. So look, bonobos.com pop up right away. Uh, they get you to go shop right away. It's kind of similar. They do have a live chat, which is actually really nice right away that if I want to talk to someone. And so there's things that you can actually learn from studying others' websites. So these are the 15 things. Intelligent Change is hopefully going to make a few of those, those recommendations and we can find out the results later. Leave a website URL if you want more teardowns uh, below. Thanks.